Hello and welcome to our Introduction to Canvas workshop for students. In this workshop, we will review the most commonly used features that a student will encounter in an online course. In this video, we'll talk about the discussion board feature in Canvas. To get to the discussion board, I can click on Discussions located in the navigation bar. In Discussions, blue means new. On the right hand side, I can hover over one of these blue squares and see that I have 14 unread replies out of 14 total in the gray area. This is a nice way that Canvas tells you that there is something you haven't seen yet. It is important to look at the discussions on a regular basis just to make sure you don't miss anything important. Let's start with the general questions discussion. Again, the instructor has given us some information about what is expected of us. After you have read the directions, you can click on this reply option below the directions. A box will open, allowing you to type a reply. If you are ever typing a response that is longer than about two sentences, it is best practice to type it in an outside program such as Microsoft Word, save it to your computer, and then copy and paste it into this box. This way, if your internet fails or your browser crashes, you have your work saved to your computer and don't have to rewrite the entire post. On the lower left, we have an attach option. Some instructors will choose to turn this option off. If you feel that the option should be there, start by contacting our instructor to see if they have chosen to turn this option off. Once you are ready, click on post reply. Canvas will take you down the page so that you can view your post. Notice the blue outline to identify your post. Again, blue means new. Another visual cue that Canvas has given us are these dots on the left hand side. Keep an eye on these dots as I scroll up the page. Notice that some of them are blue and after a few seconds, they change to white. The blue dots show you which replies you have not viewed yet. Now since these dots turn to white so quickly, you may not have actually read all of the posts. So you can actually click on the white dot and turn it blue. This will now stay blue until you click on it again to turn it white. You can use these dots as a bookmark or a place marker to keep track of what you have read. In discussions, it is not uncommon for instructors to ask you to post a reply to their questions and then to also respond to two other students. This is meant to get the conversation going, similar to what you would have in a physical classroom. You can again use these dots as a bookmark. So if you think that this might be one of the students that you want to reply to, you can click on that white dot, read the rest of the posts, and come back to this one later. It is also important to note that the discussion board is visible by everyone in the class, so all of the other students registered for your class, along with your instructor, can see what has been posted to the discussion board. That concludes this workshop. If you liked this video but still have more questions, be sure to have a look at our other Canvas workshop videos. Thanks for watching.